Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, December the 3rd, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 7, and Luke chapter 20, verse 1 through 8. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O tender God, I take refuge in you. From my pursuers, save me and rescue me. Psalm 7. O tender God, I take refuge in you. From my pursuers, save me and rescue me lest they tear me to pieces like a lion, and drag me off with no one to rescue me. If my hands have done wrong, if I have paid back evil for good, I who saved my unjust oppressor, then let my foes pursue me and seize me. Let them trample my life to the ground and lay my soul in the dust. My God, rise in your anger, Rise against the fury of your foes. My God, awake, give judgment. Let the nations gather round you. Take your seat above them on high. You are the judge of the peoples. Give judgment for me. I am just and innocent of heart. Put an end to the evil of the wicked and make the just stand firm. You who test heart and mind, O oh, just God, you are the shield that protects me. You save the upright of heart. You are a just judge, slow to anger, but threatening the wicked every day, all those who will not repent. You will sharpen the sword, brace the bow, and take aim. For them you prepare deadly weapons, arrows barbed with fire. Here are enemies pregnant with malice, who conceive evil and bring forth lies. They dig a pit, they dig it deep. And in the trap they have made, they will fall. Their malice must re will recoil on themselves. On their own heads, their violence will fall. I thank you, O just one. I sing to you, the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O tender God, I take refuge in you. From my pursuers, save me and rescue me. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 20, beginning at verse 1. One day, as Jesus was teaching the people in the temple and telling the good news, the chief priests and the scribes came with the elders and said to him, Tell us, by what authority are you doing these things? Who is it who gave you this authority? He answered them, I will ask you also a question, and you tell me. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? They discussed it with one another saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, all the people will stone us, for they are convinced that John was a prophet. So they answered that they did not know where it came from. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together 
by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another in all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.